Hi guys, welcome to day two of the five day Clickbank Affiliate Quick Start Light Course, if you will, L-I-T-E. Today I'm going to tell you how to verify or how to, because in the first day we looked at the products and looked at how to pick products and this is sort of a continuation of that, how to verify the product, what you should look at. Once you've found a product and it sort of looks okay in the gravity and the stuff we looked at in day one, um, I'm going to tell you the other things that you should look at and it's not overly complicated and you don't have to follow it um, absolutely to a T, okay? Um, you can sort of use this information and you could change it because it does depend on the product. Because there's so many different sales pages, um, you can have different sales pages that do an effective job. Some have video, some have um, long sales pages with a lot of text on and some have short sales pages. So there's no hard and fast rule for a sales page and that might go against a lot of copywriting stuff but it's all down to split testing and most products on Clickbank won't really split test that much until they become really really successful so um, I'm going to walk you through I mean, it's going to be a lot simpler than that so don't worry if that sounded a bit like oh my god sounds like hard work do consider if you're watching on YouTube check out the link below because if you're looking for literally the stuff done for you if you're looking for the web copy templates if you're looking for the emails um, for a mini email course for the product that you promote and you're looking for it, you've you've basically got two one hour sessions where I go in depth on the setup of the site so with this course you will get stuff that you could take action on and if you know how to set up the blog and if you know how to set up a sales page or, or a blog you can do either or um, and if you know how to do that stuff you could take this stuff and use it and you'll make money because I'm going to show you some really good stuff today but if you're unsure how to do this stuff um, I do recommend the in-depth coaching it's only um, a two-week course and it's one hour a week but you will get a one hour long session a week that goes into the specifics how do you set up what domain name should you get how do you get the sales page set up and you're actually getting the templates as well to make sure that your product sells. So it will go far beyond the scope of this mini course. I really, really would love to have you with me. And I think that you'll get tremendous value from it. And I think that once you've seen today as well, um, you can see how much money you can actually make. And today I'm going to, as I say, show you how to verify the product, show you a mock product. Um, just a product I've picked out that looks really, really good. Um, tell you why I've picked it out and also show you how I actually verified it and the sort of things that you need to be looking at initially, you know, before you get started, before you actually get your website up and running. This is what a lot of people don't do. They don't do these steps. They go to Clickbank and they search for the highest gravity product and they don't do any sort of research or anything like that, competition research, keyword research. And then what happens is they wonder why they're not getting sales because it had a gravity of 600. Well, today I'm gonna to show you the, the few differences. What you'll find with a lot of this stuff is it's not major differences that people are doing that make a difference to your income online or offline. It's the same things done in a different way, like little changes that will really, really make a big difference. And I'll walk you through them now and you will see, hopefully, how this translates to cash. So, let me first show you the product and then I'll show you the sales page. So, the product I'm gonna be showing you today is this one, Vertical Jump Training. It's in the sports category. And again, there's no real science to what category I, I like picked. I just basically picked one from here. Um, if you're stuck for a category, I say start with your hobbies. So, a bit like, the, I won't go over week one, uh, sorry, not week one, but day one of the course and, and tell you how to pick a product again. But start with your hobbies and, for instance, if you were really, if you're a golf player, you know, you're going to be involved in the niche. You're actually going to be writing emails in the niche and writing sales copy in the niche. Again, don't worry about the sales copy thing. You don't have to be a master. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, 
but you, you, it does help if you've got some sort of knowledge of the niche. As you get better, you don't actually need knowledge of the niche, and you can start start basically going into other niches and know what you're doing. But it does help to start. And some of the categories to help you out that sell really well is um, a game sells well. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of experience in the gaming industry. Health and fitness sells well, but you need to make sure that um, you know some of them are a bit borderline. You know, how to cure certain incurable illnesses and all that. I wouldn't get involved in that for obvious reasons. But there's some good health ones. Home and garden is another good one. Um, green energy, green products is another good one. Another really good one is um, where's it gone? Oh, so it's in health and fitness, like diets and how to get six pack abs and all that stuff. They're the sort of things that you want to go for. Um, cooking is a good one, like the, is it the paleo? I don't know if I'm saying that right, the paleo diet, that's another really, really good one, certain cooking programs and so on. But have a look round. This one I picked, I just clicked on sports and I was sort of looking through. I'm looking at, again, at the popularity of the product and this one happens to be the most popular in the niche. Now, it's only got a gravity of 57. Okay, remember when I spoke about gravity? I'm going to tell you how to um, analyze this other information as well. Um, and I'll show you why I picked it. Now, not to go off on a tangent, but if I wanted to, I could grab this and search for products. And I could search for other vertical jump guides rather than this one because sometimes if your product's really really popular remember what i said about the gravity being too high i could search for other products that are doing well in the niche for instance here we go um this is the one i'm going to show you and if we scroll down here these are just to search for vertical jumps you can see there's also another one the jump manual with a one dollar trial and average sale is eighty six dollars rebuild is converting like crazy with a gravity of thirty six and you've also got more that's got a gravity of three so it's too low really but the, ma the main thing you want to look at here is I'm just going to go with this one again there's no hard and fast rule of actually how much gravity it should have I recommend as I'm going to show you now that you have a look at the sales page and a, and a certain criteria and it will help you understand the niche and we're going to analyze the sales page in a really simple way um, again grab a pen and paper for this we're going to analyze the sales page in a really simple way for two reasons one to confirm that the product sells um, and two you know that's always a good thing number one and two to find entry into the niche and I'm going to tell you what I mean by that so we stick with this product but again, remember that you could search for other products. For instance, I'll just show you this sales page at 36 Gravity. You know, the jump manual, here we go. It's gonna start with- What is the jump manual? Big video, I've just paused the video. But you can see here, I actually like this, this page. It looks really good. In fact, I think they're using a, um, a lead page. They've converted a lead page template there. I think um, and it looks really really clean really nice with a good sales video so I, I quite like the look of that again the only way that you could tell which one converts better is by testing it okay um, but I'll walk through not to make it too complicated if we go up back up to the original one here the first thing we want to do I'll walk you through it quickly how to process the information here so vertical jump training that's the niche okay um, it's saying here you got initial an initial sale of $49.35 average sale to the affiliate is 75% that means that when you promote this and you get a sale of $49 you will get 75% of that um, it's also got a rebuild on it now I couldn't find a rebuild on the sales page meaning a membership but it might be an upsell Okay, so bear that in mind, and it's really good. You know, a rebuild, if you get 75% of $142 per sale coming in, um, it's not bad at all. Let's work it out, because my maths is shocking. I've got a handy, thank God for the calculator. So here we go. 
they go 106 dollars um on the rebuild so you know you'd if they bought the product you would get 75 percent of 49 so to work it out there are clickbank fees they're not that high but just tell you on average so you'd get about 37 and then after clickbank fees you'd probably get about 35 34 dollars in your hand per sale so you can see how quickly it could become really really profitable if you know how to promote it and i'm going to show you um <laughs> average rebuild percentage is 25 percent so 25 percent of all sales are go for this offer and the gravity is 57.67 again for gravity if you're really stuck go for a product between 30 and 60 gravity or let's say 20 and 60 gravity any product that has a gravity of 20 is gaining traction and it and it sells it's like not overly competitive um but you could tell the product se is selling with affiliates as well okay this is just the vendor spotlight of the product just to show you th that information the only reason excuse me the only reason i come here really is to look at this gravity chart and again as i said in day one you want to make sure that that stays solid you don't want to have it all going up and down if it shoots right up if it goes from 0 to 50 that's normally like an email promo between affiliates um, it's shot up here that could be the season it could be another email promo they've done but the great thing is it's going right down to like 47 and right up to like 56 and this is a 30 day trend you can see it's staying fairly balanced so that's another thing let's have a look at the sales page and I'm going to walk you through what I look look at so I'll just stop that most sales pages or not most but quite a lot now will be video again it does depend on the niche um, whether video or text converts well there's not just a, a sort of one niche one go at it thing it's analyzing your niche exactly like we are now but more in depth for sales copy that will be something if you're interested in building your own products let me know um, that's something that you have to look at when you're actually building your own products but for now all we need to do as affiliates is just look to see that it does a good job at the sales and we're also um, what you want to do as you go through this page is just grab a pen and paper and just quickly whiz through it the first thing I recommend you do is watch this video and you're literally it's only a one minute 40 video so it's a promo video um, it's not a sales video it will sh actually let's just play it I won't keep it I, I, I hope you could hear I don't know if you could hear the music but you could see it's like someone slam dunking basketballs so really quickly and I won't spend ages on this because I want to give you something I've got something else to show you and I want you to use this I don't want you to get bombarded down again if you feel that you're getting bombarded and you feel that oh my god it's so complicated don't give up do consider the training um, because I'm going to be going a lot more in a one hour session I can go really in depth with all this stuff and make sure that you're comfortable with it and make sure that you you, you can do it um, but don't get bogged down with it just grab a pen and paper and you could see first so vertical jump training and you can see here the first thing we see is basketball okay I know this is fairly obvious but again we're doing stuff that most affiliates don't do and uh, you can see it's called the Falker System Vert Shock um, and it's Adam Falker is a pro basketball player so it looks like it's um, endorsed by him which is a really really good thing for the for the sales um, it's got a promo video showing basketball another basketball player here um, Justin Just Fly Darlington I don't know that much about basketball I used to follow it in the 90s um M mba jam and all that sort of stuff on the computer game the chicago bulls but i haven't followed it in years so i wouldn't even know the basketball players but you can see it's geared very heavily towards basketball and that's brilliant for us i'll tell you why in a little while as we scroll down you can see here parents click here let's just see what comes up if they're um Here we go so this is interesting not to make it overly complicated because you don't need to go that much into it but you could see one of the um 
one of the things they're actually doing is targeting parents with a separate sales page really really interesting you know when we start getting into actually building the site and building emails and communicating with the niche if they've got that on the main sales page we can find lots of very juicy keywords um, when you're actually I'll show you in a minute but don't worry about that too much just something for the parents there and then you've got the standard sales page here and you just imagine here in the roar of the crowd when you take off on the fast break and throw down a rim wrecking showtime dunk hey Adam Folker here okay so I know this might sound far-fetched to you and you're probably pretty skeptical but below I'm going to explain precisely how I Adam Folker as well as Justin Darlington and so many of our athletes have added up to 9 to 15 inches to our vertical jump so obviously you want to go through and I suggest reading all the sales copy um, you don't have to worry about how the sales copy works as an affiliate because you're not looking to build a product what you're looking to do though is find a way in imagine doors um, and I know this sounds weird but imagine doors ways in all we have to do is grab a pen and paper and as you're going through this sales page write down three this is your task write down three to five things that this product solves and then from those three to five things see who the products targeting and I'll do this one for you so this product is to solve um, you, the, the main aim if you if you were to write this down on this product is to slam dunk a basketball that's the main aim you know you could play basketball without having to slam dunk it you know you could just shoot but people want to be able to increase their vertical jump and it's targeting specifically basketball players that doesn't mean people that want to you know they might be wanting to do the high jump but it's not targeting those people it tends to target just basketball players so they're looking at increasing their vertical jump in basketball specifically and the main thing it's selling is the buzz here we go we're going to end your frustration once and for all and have you dunking like a freak the main thing it's selling is the buzz of slam dunking a basketball and I'm going to give you we have to get a little bit salesy here because it's all to do with sales remember this remember that saying that I know it's really cheesy but remember that sell the sizzle not the steak now that is applicable in all marketing and it is the case here's a better way to understand it that hopefully isn't as cheesy sell the feeling and not the product okay so people only buy things because they want to achieve a feeling that's the only reason they buy things you know why would you buy a um, uh, I don't know like a, a small car like a Nissan or something like that and why would someone else buy a Ferrari when essentially they do the same thing now you could say oh well the Ferrari looks nicer and it goes faster and it all the things but the speed limits say that you can only get from A to B at the same speed so the only difference I know we could go right into this and I don't want to spend too long on it but the reason people buy the Ferrari and spend hundreds of thousands more is more than the Nissan is because of the feeling they get driving it so when you use this when you're actually looking at promoting a product ask yourself what is the main feeling that they're gonna get from slam dunking a basketball and I know it sounds weird and I know it's getting a little bit salesy but if you do these steps I guarantee you you will have an edge on 99% of affiliates out there because the truth is especially with Clickbank most affiliates aren't making money because they don't know how to sell they don't know how to pick the products and if you do these steps if you start thinking about who is your target market who is your ideal customer for this product now it could be a short um, a shorter high school kid that's really really good at basketball but really wants to dunk it um, you know I, I'd guess it there especially when you see above that it's saying parents click here so it's targeted towards um, high school kids and so on but I'll carry on and I'll just leave you to bear that in mind and as we go down you can see it's like $67 testimonials and um, you'll get a lot more as you actually um, as you actually go through the sales page you'll get a lot more answers to these questions if you read it through because 
any good sales page should do this it should target one person not a whole mass of people but their perfect client and it should answer their questions and it should give them value by selling that feeling that they're going to get by buying the product and you can see here um, so this product is split into three phases pre-shock phase in your first seven days um, we increase your jump by three to five inches so bear this in mind as well when they've actually created this product they've looked at the problems in the niche and they've made the product into three phases so this this would be I'll show you actually in the Google AdWords keyword tool in just a minute this is, will be an area that we can focus on you know some people will be looking to increase their jump by three to five inches um, and we'll be I'll show you what I mean by that on the keywords but you're looking at the things that the product does so look in the first seven days so imagine if you had some content and it said increase your jump by three to five inches in just seven days and then you've got the shock phase um, which is six weeks long this is the main part of the program where you where your nervous system is shocked into leaping higher than all your friends thought possible and then the post shock phase um, this is a full week where everything in the body is learned in the previous phases so you could sort of focus on the main areas and see um, see what's going on and then as you go down you could sort of see um, you know more slam dunking it's pretty much all focused on slam dunking um, and you can see a big long sales page and really really great stuff with bonuses again you don't have to go that deep into it but it really helps to sort of have a good look at the page um, this page to me looks like a really good converter the only thing I don't like about this page is you have to enter your email address to be able to click the buy button um, they're called leaks they're leaks where people could actually go out of the sales page and leave the page don't worry about it too much because we need to get you up and running but I'm going to show you how this stuff that we just learned with a quick look at the sales page will translate into finding our way into the niche so if we go here um, the keyword planner so one of the keywords or keyword phrases is like increase vertical jump or well, let's start one of the really really um, if you want to stay really targeted one of the first things you do actually is this look focus system so Folka system let me go back I want to make sure I spell that right um, vert shock okay so one of the first things you do is go to the Google AdWords keyword tool type in the product name there we go um, and you can see look here we go low competition for vert shock um, vert shock reviews there we go so this is a sort of these are people looking for that um, that product you can see it's really really good um, and then you could also look how to increase vertical jump height oops spelled that wrong here we go how to increase vertical jump height get ideas and you can see vert shock, vertical shock program, vertical jump training vertical jump program look at this vertical jump program average monthly searches 480 with low competition vertical jump training program 170 low competition so these are all great um, and you can see others as well and the other main thing so we've got vertical jump um, as a key phrase how to increase vertical jump height and all those key phrases that come with it look how many doors we've got into this product increase vertical jump increase vertical jump workout with low competition um, jump program jump training programs vertical jump test um, best way to increase vertical jump um, look so many look jump training for basketball and here we go I've got I'll show you here we go so jump basketball weight training weight training basketball vertical jump training 510 and you've also got the main focus of the, the product can you remember what we said it was the main focus was 
how to how to slam dunk and you could see here how to slam dunk bit harder to find but here we go basketball training that could be one slam dunk basketball um, slam dunk video jump oh here we go jump higher how to jump higher how to jump higher to dunk with low competition and um, that's really our entry so what when you're looking at a product what you're really looking to do here is again don't make it too complicated these are the these are the tasks when you're looking at your product and obviously I've been through a basketball jump training one I'll also just show you this one as well um, jump training for high school that might be one as well remember how the page actually just targeted parents um, you could sort of find different ways here we go improve jumping increase your vertical jump high jump training that's uh, like what I said before high jump workouts basketball vertical jump training here we go so you know r really you could go really in depth find loads but all you want to do to keep it simple obviously your product may be different so once you've picked one you want to go through and just read the sales page r all the way through and as you're going through write down exactly who's it's t who it is targeting now I know that sounds complicated but it will make a huge difference in your promotions when we get into actually setting up and and making sales and you as an affiliate and actually making money this will make a big difference a lot of this stuff is taking the time and care to do it properly um, while st still getting it done not getting over overwhelmed with it all and most affiliates don't do this they will just um, how to slam dunk a basketball or um, just do it off the product name and they won't be able to communicate with the niche because they don't know who they're targeting remember this on any sales page any sales page that is doing an effective job they've done the work for you they've done the research they probably spent thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars on the sales page so you just have to read through and pick out the main areas of who they're targeting and really quickly a very very brief sort of scan through with with yourselves as I've done this video I can see that they're targeting um, people playing basketball basketball teams um, obviously they're going to be shorter perhaps um, not able to jump that high and they're targeting that feeling that you get from slam dunking so if I was to do notes on this I'd say they're targeting young people that play basketball that want the feeling of being able to slam dunk the basketball and then when we do the copy when we actually sell the product or when we build a list with a re report um, you know what to put in it um, you know three ways you could be slam dunking a basketball or seven secrets to slam dunking a basketball in under five weeks with these simple strategies and that would be your report title and it would give them something they download and you could sell them this guide and give them some really really good information but to keep it simple just go through the sales page focus on that one person if you had to pick one person an avatar in your mind what do they look like you know the more you can get that person in your mind who is this product selling to it will be one person once you've got that number one person you want to look at what they're selling to that person I know this sounds weird but you want to look at what they're selling to that person what is it what are they really selling what feeling will that person get or here's a better way of saying it why would they buy what feeling are they after and this one is obviously the feeling of slam dunking a basketball jumping that high and it's a show off thing as well you don't just slam dunk a basketball with no one watching you could build up you know you're playing in the game there's a few seconds left on the clock you know like those Hollywood movies and you slam slam dunk it and the backboard breaks on the basketball and the crowd are cheering and you turn into Teen Wolf or something you know but you get my idea they're buying a feeling they're buying an image in their head of actual completion what would they feel like when they achieve this goal and that's um, what you want to get off the sales page as well and then you want to look at the third thing you want to look at is the areas as much as possible some sales pages are harder to see 
but the main focus areas of the product and you can see they've done it here VertShock is split into three phases and the very first seven days their main selling point what do they get immediately when buying the product is the increase their jump height of up to three to five inches so that's their main sales thing so if we were promoting this product um, we would actually focus on that because that's what we want to that's their main reason for buying if I could just jump three inches higher um, you know and you'd actually end up putting that on your let me ask you a question you could even do sales video if you're more advanced so, you know again guys if this is sounding really complicated don't let it bog you down do you consider the training if you really want to go for it and I'll give you web copy templates that will be done for you and I'll give you emails for the products and I'll be going into sessions both um, a one hour session two lots of them so two hours in total where I will be spending a lot more time on this stuff but even if you don't decide to join me on the coaching I want you to get something I want you to get something that you can use so you might want to watch this video a few times but actually do it pick a product read through the sales page and answer these questions who's it targeting what feeling are they selling to that person and another way of saying it is if that person was to get completion the intended results how would that person feel and then the third thing is if you can when you're looking on the sales page like here on this bit um, try to find some preview of the product somewhere on the sales page it's normally like you will get and you see tick marks on page 39 I tell you how to um, twist your heel at a certain point that allows you to jump higher something like that 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 that's the parts that they're pushing from the guide that they think people want like this one the very first one again is how to increase your height from three to five inches so if you were doing a sales page you would target that you'd you you would put like a question and you'd say ready to slam dunk and you you might go I don't care if you think you're short I don't care if you think you're not tall enough to slam dunk a basketball let me ask you a question how would it feel if you were able to add three to five inches to your vertical jump in as little as four weeks let me ask you another question how close are you to slam dunking a basketball right now you might be able to touch the net you might be able to almost get there can you imagine adding three to five inches you would almost be there right and you'd, you'd go into it like that and you'd, you'd sort of but I, w I will cover that um, but that's all you have to do now those three things pick a product send me the product to cljpublishing at gmail.com you know actually do this stuff I know it's difficult I know it's a learning curve but if you do it you will make money and you will be streets ahead of most affiliates because most affiliates don't even get close to doing this stuff and as we bring it together and the reason you don't want to bypass it is as we bring it together in this five-day course you will end up getting a simple sales page I know it sounded difficult this session because I've covered a lot of stuff but you will end up targeting the right people with the right product at the right time and with those three things you'll make money in any niche so I hope you've enjoyed it I'd love to see you with me on the training do the if you're watching this on YouTube click the link below and check that out because you're gonna absolutely love it and if you've received it in your email um, make sure you check out the the coaching as well because I can go a lot more in depth and it will be fun as well this stuff's meant to be fun I don't want you to be bogged down thinking oh my god this sounds like a really in-depth sales thing it really isn't um, you do need to know unfortunately if you're selling anything online you do need to know the basics of selling but this was quite an in-depth heavy psychological session so I hope you weren't sort of put off and thinking oh my god but it's pretty much the only psychological heavy session it is but don't skip it it's the main part of selling anything um, is psychology and I'm sure you know that you do have to do a bit of it um, but it allows you to pick better products to promote and make more money which is why we're all here okay guys I will see you in day three or in the training sessions and our speechy soon. Cheers.